In this video, I'm gonna make a function in C that's gonna replace all occurrences of one character with another character in a string. So the function will have no return value because it's just gonna manipulate a string and we'll call it replace car. And we'll say that it's gonna accept a string as one of its arguments. And we'll have the replacement character. So we'll say car replace. That'll be the character we're going to replace. And I'll say car and then I'll say for the new character, I'll just call it new. And then we'll copy this down here to provide a function definition. And because I'm working with strings here, I'm also gonna include at the top of the file here, I'm gonna include string.h because string.h has all kinds of helpful functions for working with strings, including the string length function strlen that gives you the length of the string. And that's actually the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say int slen is equal to the length of the string here. So that returns the length of the string. And then our algorithm for working with the string is gonna be relatively simple. We're just gonna loop from the first index in the string until the length of the string. And whenever we encounter the replace character, we're just gonna set the string at that position to be the new character instead. So we're gonna say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than the string length, i plus plus. And we're gonna say that if the string at i, at the current position, is equal to the character that we wanna replace, then set the string at i equal to this new character. And so, you know, if we've got a string like this, like this is my string, and we wanna replace i in the string, you know, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're gonna go all the way through the string up until the length of the string. That's where we're gonna stop. And along the way, whenever we encounter at a position that at that position we have the character we wanna replace, let's say it's i, then we're gonna switch it to the new character, whatever it is, maybe it's capital T or capital X or something like that. And, and that's really the algorithm, it's just, it's just that. So we'll actually try to use this function now. So let's do some test cases here. I'm gonna say here, car S1 is equal to, and I'll say this is my string, and then we'll call the function. So we'll say replace car, replace car, oops, <laughs> replace car, and we'll say here S1, and we'll say I, and then we'll replace it with, say, capital Z. So if I do a printf then afterwards here, if I say S1 result percent S slash N, and I could even just say S1, really. I don't have to say result. I can just say S1. Uh, then we'll do S1 here, and we'll just look at what we get back here. So we'll compile it here, and then we'll run it. And I get, this is my string. I get this. I can't really do that. But yeah, I get this sort of... Uh, you know, string here with the Z's in the middle. So I could try one more time. I could try one more one more test case. I could say uh, car S2 and I'll get, uh, maybe we'll do something else here. We'll say like A, 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 B, 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 A, B, 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 A, 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 C, D, E, F. Okay, so we got some, some, some weird test case here. And we'll say that we're gonna replace, let's say the A's with, we'll say, uh, we'll do Z again, capital Z again, and I'm going to do an A at the end here too, just to make sure we're getting the end and the beginning and all the things in between potentially too. So we'll just give it a bit of a different test case here, and I'll say S2, S2, S2 now in all these spots here, and we'll just we'll just make sure it works for this as well. And it works, and we're good, and so we're happy. We've made a function now that can replace all occurrences of a character in a string with another character. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.